Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. This is Kobe. Emily of Sports News. And I'm Kenna with GNN, your Grizzlies News Network. Today is Wednesday, October 17th, 2018. This Thursday, October 18th, we will have our annual Great Shakeout Earthquake Drill. The drill will take place during 1018. During the drill, remember to drop, cover, and hold on. The following video will demonstrate. Great Shakeout Earthquake Drills remind you to drop, cover, and hold on to protect yourself during an earthquake in most situations. Let's practice what to do if no table or desk is nearby. When you feel shaking, immediately drop down onto your hands and knees. An earthquake is less likely to knock you over in this position, and you're a smaller target for anything falling or flying. Then, cover your head with your arms, clasp your hands around your neck, bend over to protect your vital organs. If no table or desk is nearby for shelter, keep one arm over your head as you crawl against nearby low furniture or an interior wall. Finally, hold on by protecting your head and neck with your other arm. Remain on your knees and bent over. Close your eyes and mouth to protect against dust and debris. Remain in this position until the shaking stops. After the shaking is over, wait a moment and check your surroundings before getting up. Register at shakeout.org to practice earthquake safety with millions of people worldwide and to see videos showing what to do in a variety of situations. On Friday, October 19th, join us at 5.30 prior to the varsity football team for our tailgate. Our football team is taking on Desert Oasis at 7 p.m. This is our pink out game for the month of October to honor Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Here's more information about getting your pink out shirt. Come dressed in head to toe in pink and navy to cheer on our Grizzlies. Congratulations to the following students nominated by their coaches and clubs advisors of, to 2018 Homecoming Court. Seniors, Cisco Martinez, Morgan Barbera, Jenny Wong, Jake Berry, GMN Chen, Mackenzie Carcelli, Pamela Soloranzo, Joe Vasquez, Michael Marshall, Ella Zanders, Colby Lawson. Juniors, Dominic Velasco, Angelina Estrada, Malet Mulugeta, Elijah Nelson. Sophomores, Carlos Castro, Danate Gezai, Ellen Germa, freshman, Alfonso Tedeo, Angelina Estrada, and Kobe Rasmus. Nominated students, please check your email for a, a message from Ms. Rivera with more details. Seniors, spots are filling up fast at Prestige Photo to get your senior pictures done, and you have only until October 19th to schedule studio time. Make sure you call 702-820-3020 right away to get scheduled in order to be in the yearbook. Again, that deadline is October 19th. On October 22nd, Life Touch will be on campus to take pictures of any seniors that did not have a studio session. See Ms. Kershaw for more information. You might think you're in the yearbook, but if you are one of the student, the, one of the dozen students who, are, who received paperwork to fill out today, then we actu actually are not allowed to put your picture in the yearbook. Your pictures, your parents have chosen the option that requires us to take all of your pictures out of the yearbook. If this choice was a mistake, please have your 
fill out a new form and bring it back to the school to make sure your, your picture is scheduled in all events throughout the year. Congratulations to the Grizzly Growler on being named the Columbia Scholastic Press Association Crown Winner. The Growler was one of 34 school newspaper honors nationally and was chosen out of the 1,100 entries. The Growler was also a National Scholastic Press Association finalist and will be honored in Chicago on November 3rd of being amongst the top 10% of high school newspapers in all the country. Congratulations to your journalist, Hale S.B. No headphones or earbuds are allowed in class, even if your work is done. There's a 45 degree rule for wearing hats outside. However, hats can be worn in hallways or classrooms. Now here's the sports news. Thank you. The men's soccer team beat Sierra Vista on Monday night by a score of 2-1 to one and proved who the real SV is. The game's first goal was scored by the Mountain Lions of Sierra Vista, but the prospect of losing their senior game motivated the 11 Spring Valley seniors on the field to push harder for equalizer. Spring Valley's first goal was scored by Jose Yu, and the game winner sco was scored by the senior Cesar Estrada. The JV men's soccer team team beat the Sierra Vista Lions by, on Monday night by a score of 7-0 to zero as goals were scored by Hiran A. Jared Chavez, Deanne Christic, Christian Garcia, and Cesar G. The shutout was earned by Karam O. Congratulations, gentlemen. Attention all soccer fans. The Lazy Lady Grizz soccer team will be hosting its last game home game on 2018 season against Durango down on the soccer field today at 3. Come join us as we celebrate our seniors Caitlin Morita, Amanda Myers, Mackenzie Carcelli, Sarah Tuku, Evelyn Mosqueda, Jennifer Crosco, and Taylor Love. It will be a great day to be a Grizzly. So come down to the soccer field with Wednesday, this Wednesday and cheer them on to victory. Men's soccer plays today at Durango. Varsity starts at 3 and JV starts at 4.30. Women's soccer plays versus Durango at home. Varsity at 3 and JV at 4.30. JV football plays tomorrow at home versus Desert Oasis starting at 6.30. Volleyball plays tomorrow against Foothill at home. JV and freshmen play at 5 and Varsity plays at 6. Now here's Kenna with some more news around campus. Thank you, Emily. To all the members of SOUL, the student organization of Latinos, remember that there is no SOUL meeting this Friday, October 19th. Again, there is no SOUL meeting this Friday. Gracias. Just a few friendly reminders. This is your campus. Please help to keep it clean by throwing away your trash when you are finished eating. Do not feed the pigeons. Earbuds and headphones cannot be worn during passing periods, no, nor when walking in the hallways. Hoodies and hats cannot be worn on your head unless it's 45 degrees or less outside. They should not be worn in the classrooms or hallways at all. We appreciate your cooperation. Students, you have the opportunity to attend the WACAC College Fair at Faith Lutheran High School for free on October 23rd from 5 to 8.30 p.m. There will be over 120 colleges and universities at this event. A bus will be departing Spring Valley High School at 5 p.m. and returning by 8.30 p.m. To sign up, you must pick up forms in room 802 or 803. Spring Valley High School Fall Counselor Workshop on Wednesday, October 17th from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. The workshop is a great opportunity for students and families to learn about a variety of topics, including college and scholarship and career opportunities. Skills USA meets tomorrow in room 304. Here's more information. This year, Spring Valley is opening a new program called Skills USA. There would be three programs running, which are video production, photography, and auto tech. The head directors are Mrs. Keith, Mr. Ludwig, and Mr. Stakely. Skills USA is a partnership of students, teachers, and industry working together to ensure America has a skilled workforce. That's the official answer. Join Skills USA, and you're part of something big, something strong, something respected. A nationwide network of nearly 350,000 members in high schools, colleges, and post-secondary programs. Thousands of industry partners and more than 11 million members served since 1965. But don't let the numbers fool you. SkillsUSA is big, but its focus is you. Today's weather will be a high of 74 with a low of 53 and sunny. This is Kenna, Emily, and Kobe of the Grizzly News Network. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday Grizzlies. Grizzlies.